What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Keypoint series. I'm your host, Ahmed Mofta, and this is gonna be Cisco SD WAN. Okay, so let's give it up to, first of all, it's WAN. Okay, let's give it up to, if it's WAN, Wide Area Network. So we're gonna have a couple of superstars. Guess what? what it, who's the first superstar? Well, if it's WAN, Wide Area Network, it's gonna be a router. Yeah, definitely, it has to be a router, first of all. But then let's not forget the most important person in this entire show, after myself, that's going to be Mr. Key. There you go. Uh-oh. So what's going on? What's going to happen? Well, you have seen before that the world of SDN is growing. Everything is getting software-defined. Software-defined networking is a way of abstracting your planes and then getting virtual devices that can run your network. When is no different. There are challenges, however. There are challenges that will drive this guy here, Mr. Key, to think about software defining his WAN. All right, first of all, let's just focus on what we have in hand and why this poor guy, Mr. Key, is suffering. Then only we can understand that, hey, SD-WAN is the solution. So let's focus on the challenges. The challenges that you have in the, as, in the normal, traditional world. So here we go. WAN environments. Just focus here on the WAN environment. What do you have? Routers that need to get connected. One side to the other. Maybe headquarter to a remote uh, side, a branch to a data center. There are a bunch of sites in there that need to get connected. How are you going to connect those devices? What if those devices are increasing in numbers? What if you are an engineer, or if Mr. Key is an engineer, that is supposed to manage an entire organization full of sites scattered everywhere across the globe or the continents, well, that's going to be complex. This is going to be complex to operate. Moreover, when talking about when service providers are going to get you connected from one side to the other, when is not an easy thing, or it's, I would say it's not, hmm, it's not a cheap thing. It's expensive. The better quality, the faster bandwidth you want, the more money you have to pay. Security is going to be concerned because you have to secure the traffic going from one side to the other since this is very important for your organization. Let's not forget that applications are very crucial for your organization because you want to make sure that those applications are being accessed fluently without any errors or any, you know, uh, problems in your network. And nowadays, connectivity to the, to the cloud is a major deal. We need to get connected to the cloud. There are several cloud providers in there, and the business is actually focused on those cloud applications. If I were to tell you that all of this is possible, you would be like, okay, well, why are you here in the first place? Well, I, t I can tell you the truth. Everything of what I've just mentioned over here, the challenge, these are all solvable. I mean, I can just give you a router or a bunch of routers that can do anything, but then how much are you gonna pay? Everything has a price. So eventually, this is something that you need to solve in the fastest, most secure, easiest, and with less budget. Oh, 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 well, how's that going to work? This is going to work only if we move to the new inventions. I shouldn't say new. It's been there for quite a while. But this is going to happen if we focus on SD-WAN. But until we move, until we migrate to SD-WAN, this guy, Mr. Key, is not very happy because his job is very complicated. So give me the solution. What is your solution? Your solution for all the challenges that we are mentioning right here is SD-WAN. And when it comes to Cisco SD-WAN, plenty of offerings are there, plenty of features and benefits that we can think about. For example, talking about physical or virtual devices that you can actually deploy. You can deploy physical routers or virtual router. Be my guest, just make your choice. Anything is possible. You want a fully virtualized network? Well, that's your, you can get it. I don't want to rely on a specific circuit. I don't want to rely on a specific service provider or a transport. I want to make sure that regardless of the service provider or any kind of connection that those providers offer, I still can 
push my traffic from one site to the other. It doesn't matter if this is MPLS, VPN, if this is 4G, 5G, if this is just simple plain internet, DSL, EDSL, any kind of circuit from any service provider has to be acceptable, regardless of the security, regardless of the cost. Of course, security is a major concern. It's not regardless, but like, I don't want to be worried about security. It has to be secured automatically. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean, automatically. And then also, separation between the planes. This is what makes SDN different from any kind of network. Software-defined network is mainly the abstraction of control plane, data plane, and management plane. This is what we're going to do right here in SD-WAN as well. We're going to separate the planes. There's going to be a central controller, and the rest of the devices, the routers, are going to be responsible for their own data traffic flow. Let's not forget, security is a concern, and we want to make sure that it, no matter how many devices, no matter what kind of solutions are being offered, they have to be secure. They have to be secure using different kind of security mechanisms, encryption, hashing algorithms. All of these have to be, you know, available, the security features. And here we're talking about IPsec and DTLS tunnels, which is going to secure our traffic automatically. Don't forget. Uh, if I wanted to get more security, is there a chance? Well, definitely yes. The automatic stuff, such as the IPsec and DTLS standards, this is automatic. This is something that you get on top without even having to worry about anything. But guess what? If you want to configure more security policies, be my guest, like firewalling, IPS, URL filter, advanced malware protection, getting connected to Cisco umbrella, anything that you want to configure on top, that's doable comes to security. When it comes to the the actual deployment for your WAN, for the network, how do you want to deploy your devices, the, the routers? When you say WAN, we always mean routers. How do you want to deploy the routers? Are, are you going to deploy this on premises? Like, are you going to own the routers and the controllers and the devices which are going to manage those routers? Or is it easier for you to deploy everything in the cloud or maybe a mix between on-premises and the cloud at the same time? Be my guest. That's all possible. I want to connect my routers just freshly out of the box, <laughs> freshly out of the oven. I just want to connect my router without any hassle and without even thinking about configuring those devices. Is this a magic? No, this is ZTP, zero touch provisioning. I want to just plug my router and then Watch the magic happen where the devices are going to receive configuration automatically. Awesome. Any kind of topology is supported. Point, on, point and click. And getting connected to the cloud at any moment with a feature called Cloud on Ramp. And let's not forget a very important feature here called Application Aware Routing to be able to traffic steer the most important applications to the best performing circuit. On top of that, you treat your applications with the best possible way using application quality of service, and all of which is going to be possible from a central management unit, a central controller, which is called the vManage. Wow. This is your Cisco SD-WAN. This is the new era. This is what makes Mr. Key happier because actually this is a shift, a shift from a hardware-based model of legacy WAN to a secure software-based fabric overlay. Okay, that's a very important terminology that interconnects your sites together, together over any kind of transport with lots of features on top of that. So what are the key points for today? Well, Cisco SD-WAN is going to guarantee seamless connectivity between your routers. Doesn't matter how many routers you have, doesn't matter how many sites, headquarters, data center, remote site branches are trying to get connected together. It's going to be seamless and you don't have to worry about it because the configuration, troubleshooting, monitoring, management is going to be central from a central controlling unit, which is called the vManage which is going to give you a better application experience. The applications are going to be fluid. And you're not going to be bound by any service provider. It doesn't mean that you don't need a service provider. You still need them, but you're not going to be bound by specific technology. You choose any technology to connect those sites together with additional security, which is definitely going to make Mr. Key happy. Hit the subscribe and the like button. And thanks for watching. I'm going to wait for you in the next episode.